2YT Sports, we're trying to bring in more and more MMA coverage, as I promised previously, and we're meeting up again with John Hyness, the MMA featured columnist for BleacherReport.com. That's how you say it. John, how you doing today? <laughs> uh, pretty good, Rick. How's everything with you? Everything is great. Everything's going great. Let's talk about Dos Santos Velasquez, too. You know, uh, UFC on Fox 1 provided us with a thrilling 64 second knockout but there are many things that we did not know about these two competitors last november now again oh. 64 seconds is all it took uh for this knockout to occur kane velasquez apparently suffered a knee injury but then we found out that well junior dos santos had a knee injury of his own so what exactly can we expect for velasquez dos santos too well, I think Junior Dos Santos that you saw the first time is going to be pretty similar to what you see again on Saturday. You know, he's going to come out swinging. I mean, he hits really hard. I mean, you could probably say that about any heavyweight at the UFC level. But he also has incredibly fast hands and just very good boxing technique. And he's aggressive, so he's good at pushing the pace. So, I mean, that's what we saw the first time, and that's why he was able to score that quick knockout. So I think that's largely going to remain the same. But as far as King goes... You know, a knee injury is a difficult thing for a guy uh, from a wrestling background. You know, that's really going to limit any uh, takedowns you could really execute. So this time, if he's 100%, which I'm sure he is, or he wouldn't have taken a, a rematch of this magnitude, right. I think he's going to try to get this thing to the ground and try to uh, land some heavy punches and elbows, try to put Junior away that way. You were talking about how heavy hands Junior Dos Santos has, and he is a great finisher. 15-1 and one is his record. 13 finishes through submission uh, and punches. Now, two of those have only come from submission. So out of the 13 finishes, 11 of them have come by, uh, via knockout. Now, uh, Cain Velasquez has also been busy. He knocked out Antonio Silva at UFC 146, the same card mm -hmm. that Dos Santos competed on. Let me ask you this about Cain Velasquez. What can we see differently? You know, both of them are gonna be healthy, but what, what can we see that might be different from the last time these two met? Well, I mean, I think the, the an underlying theme for the first bout is, I mean, just because Cade was hurt, I think he was pretty tentative. He was kind of just sitting back in the pocket waiting to counter, but, I mean, that time never really came because as soon as they started trading, he already got hit with a big shot. He got rocked. He was already backing up a little bit. And, uh, you know, then he got hit with the one big punch. He was on the ground. And, I mean, once, once JDS knocks you to the ground, I mean, that's it. You know, he's not letting you back up. So, you know, I think... The difference here, as far as that goes, is I think Kane is going to be a lot more aggressive, and I think he's a lot hungrier, too, because in any division of the UFC, if you lose to the champion twice, I mean, you're pretty much done for in that division. And the problem with the heavyweights is it's very rare you find a guy that could drop down to 205, uh, and I don't think Kane Velasquez is one of those guys. So, I mean, if he loses here... It's probably going to be years and years if he ever gets another title shot. Wow. So you're saying that this is pretty much do or die for Cain Velasquez? That's pretty much what I'm saying, yeah. Wow, that's pretty surprising. I mean, he, he's, he's very talented. And he's going up against one of the best heavyweights, if not the best heavyweight, arguably, uh, in the sport. It's just pretty, it's pretty surprising to say that, you know what, if you lose to this guy twice, look, there are many fighters in various sports and many teams in various sports that lose to that, that one guy or that one team that's their Achilles heel. So you really think that this is do or die for him? I mean, you know, it's, it's a bold statement. I'm not going to say it's not, but I mean, let me take you to a recent example um, actually, the first time we talked, um, Chell, uh, Chell Sonnen uh, versus Anderson Silva, I mean, you know, he got knocked out there. And then, you know, roughly two years prior, he got submitted by Anderson. And, you know, at that point, uh, I guess him and his team got together and they decided, you know, we, it's going to be a really, really long time if we ever get another shot at the middleweight title. So we decided to bump back up the light heavyweight. And, you know, by being the great uh, marketing man that he is, Chael talked his way into another title shop, this time with John Jones. Sure. So, you know, I mean, of course, that's only one example, but uh, I mean, another one, if to look at, I mean, Frankie Edgar, you know, one of the, one of the most uh, respected guys in the lightweight division, probably in UFC history, has a lot of great wins under his belt, BJ Penn, Gray Maynard, and, you know, I could, I could go on, but, I mean, once he lost to Benson Henderson twice, he's like, you know what, like, I don't think this is for me anymore. I'm going to drop down to featherweight. So... 
you know, two pretty prominent names who have had a lot of success with their division lost to the champion twice, and they said, you know what, like, um, it's time to take a different route. And that's what we saw. But with the problem with a guy like Kane, he walks around at about 240-something pounds, so you can't really cut down to 205 pounds. Right. I mean, so, without losing an arm and a leg or something. You know? <laughs> sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, John, let me, uh, let me get the final verdict from you. Dos Santos Velasquez to UFC 155 in Las Vegas, Nevada. What say you? Who do you think comes out on top, and how? I mean, I, I think Cade lands some good shots. I think he brings it to the ground. I think he looks competitive for a round, maybe two at best. But uh, I'm saying uh, Junior Dos Santos, T, another Junior Dos Santos TKO. Um, I mean, this is a guy that, I mean, we haven't seen much of his ground game, but what we do know is he has stellar takedown defense. So I think if Kane takes him down 10 times, I think he'll get back up 10 times, and he's the better striker. So um, all it really takes for him is one. If he just catches him once, he'll land that big shot and put him out. So I I think, you know, Cade might be able to impose his game plan for a little while, but sooner or later, Joe Santos is going to land that big shot, and that's going to be it. There you have it, John Hyannis, the MMA featured columnist for BleacherReport.com. John, where can people find your stuff exactly? Well, uh, you could find my uh, columns featured on Bleacher Report, of course, but uh, under the UFC section and the MMA section. And what about on Twitter? Uh, you can follow me at Johnny Hardbody. Johnny Hardbody. All right, there you have it. John, thank you so much for the time, and we will talk to you again soon. All right, Rick. Happy New Year. Thanks for having me. All right, you too.